Hi, I'm Peter Whittle. This week it was reported that the Tory party is offering parliamentary candidates courses in structural racism and unconscious bias, including lessons in the concept of white resentment. The tenor and terminology of these courses are straight out of the critical race theory playbook. This is being given to future candidates, remember, so we have no excuse for not knowing what we'll be getting. The complaint that the Tory party is no longer conservative is no longer the usual hyperbole from those who still basically think that it's intact. No, it is a fact, it is not conservative. Anybody who opposes the ideological assault on our culture and society simply should not vote for them, even if it means not voting at all. I use the word assault there. Others use stronger words. Even our dopey journalists seem to be gradually waking up to the fact that something serious is going on and that it's not just a matter of loony lefties wanting to put trigger warnings on Peter Pan. Even those who oppose it make much of the basic good intentions behind the woke ideology. It is claimed that it has gone simply too far. And some would still claim that misguided utopian thinking is what propels wokery forward. Well, I do not sign up to this comforting school of thought. No, I believe the assault on our culture is motivated by hatred and the desire to destroy. The attack is aimed at the very foundations of our society. It seeks to delegitimize our history and all of its emblems. It seeks to undermine and belittle our great cultural and artistic achievements. It seeks to deconstruct our scientific tradition. Indeed, it even attacks mathematics. There is no part of society which is immune. There is one point which is rarely made, however, and I think it should be. The political and cultural establishment, which has been infiltrated and now dominated by these ideologues, sees itself as intellectually on a different plane to the rest of us. It considers itself free thinking, innovative and original. Certainly it sees itself as morally superior and untouched by the prejudices of the majority. The truth, however, is entirely the other way round. It is the highly educated who are most prone to groupthink. It is the so-called intelligentsia which is most riven by its own set of biases and prejudices. It is the political, media and cultural elite who are most prone to intellectual fashion. They are the ones who move in herds like sheep. They are the ones who sing, therefore, from exactly the same ideological hymn sheet. They are the ones attempting to transform our society. To resist them, I say that we must all of us wake up. I don't think we have reached this point yet, but all of us must realise that the motives behind these people are not good ones. We must wake up. Thank you.